How to use the Quick Launch Toolbar for Windows 10. This tutorial describes the many features of the Quick Launch Toolbar for Windows 10. I suggest you play it several times, then pause and try the steps yourself. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. The Quick Launch Toolbar is on the Windows Taskbar, which is at the bottom of the Windows Desktop unless you move it. The toolbar is always visible and is to the right of the Windows logo and the search box or search icon. Programs on the toolbar are executed with a single click. There is a task button on the toolbar between the search box and the quick launch toolbar that temporarily rearranges the desktop. I'll open several windows and minimize one or more of them to show how it works. When you click the task view button it hides all the icons that are on the desktop and displays all files that are open even those that are currently minimized. Clicking it again returns the desktop to normal. If you are using multiple monitors, the Task View button rearranges open windows on their respective monitors. Minimized windows are shown on the monitor they were minimized from. To show or hide the button, right click the taskbar and check or uncheck show task view button. I'll click it, I'll uncheck it. Now it's gone from the taskbar. I'll do the same thing again. Now it, it's shown on the taskbar. The keyboard shortcut for, for the task view operation, if you're not showing the button especially, is the Windows tab. So you hold down the Windows logo key on your keyboard and then press the tab. I'll do it. I pressed it, I'll press it again. Adding a program icon to the Quick Launch Toolbar is called pinning. And here's how to pin a program to the toolbar. Click the Windows logo to display the list of most used apps. If you don't see the one you're looking for there, click All Apps. Now you have an alphabetical list of all programs that are installed on your computer. You can select one of the programs, for instance, Debut Video Capture Software. To pin it, right click it. Since you don't see Pin to Taskbar on that list, go down to More, go across, and now click Pin to Taskbar. Now the Debut Program icon appears here on the Taskbar. It's always on the right end of whatever's there already. To unpin a program, right click the icon on the taskbar and select Unpin from Taskbar. You can also pin a program to the taskbar by dragging its icon from the Start menu, either from the Start list of apps or from this area called the Start Menu on the Windows menu. So I can drag one of these onto the taskbar also. Here's Adobe Photoshop. Now it's on the taskbar. It's pinned to the taskbar. It doesn't remove it from this area, by the way, or this area. And again, to remove them from the taskbar, unpin them. Right click, unpin. Right click, unpin. You can also pin a shortcut from a shortcut on the desktop. So Cyberlink PowerDirector, drag it down to the taskbar and that pins it there. It does not remove the shortcut from the desktop, it just pins it. If you want to unpin it again, just right click, unpin. A lot of flexibility. If a program is not open, hovering over its icon on the Quick Launch Toolbar just shows the name of the program. If one or more files are open for that program, hovering over the icon will show thumbnails for each of the open files 
whether or not that file is currently minimized. If when you open several files with the same program you get several separate entries on the taskbar and they don't all appear over the program icon that means that option is turned off and I will show you how to turn it on and off. I strongly suggest you have that option on so that when you hover over it you will see all the files open in that program. Here's how to change the options. Right click the taskbar, select properties. Under taskbar buttons, always combine hide labels is the one I prefer where you will see the different thumbnails above the icon for the program. The other options are combine only when the taskbar fills up or never combine. If you click never combine your open files will fill up your taskbar fairly quickly. So I would really suggest you use always combine hide labels and that's where I have it set right now. I'm going to uh, hide the desktop icons now to eliminate confusion. To do that you click right click the empty area on the desktop, hover over view, click show desktop icons to check it or uncheck it. I'll turn them off. Clicking taskbar icons behaves differently depending on whether files are already open for that program. If there are no files open on the program such as for the voice recorder, when you click the icon it opens the program and creates a new file. If only one file is open for a program, clicking the icon alternately minimizes and restores the file. If several files are open for the program, clicking the icon alternately shows the thumbnails for the open files and hides them. Clicking a thumbnail display that's above an icon will restore the file if it is minimized, but if it's on the screen already, it will move it on top of any other files that were in front of it. The current state of the files for the WordPad program. This file is currently displayed on the desktop. This file is currently minimized. When you hover over a file that's minimized, it restores it and puts it on top of any other files that would be in front of it. So that one is minimized. Hovering over it shows it and shows it on top of anything that happened to be there. If you move to one that's already there, it really doesn't affect it. And as I said, hovering over one that's minimized or that's behind moves it to the front temporarily. But if you click it, it is now shown and it's permanently shown and it's on top of any other files that were in the way. And again, I'll hover. This one's on top right now. This one's behind it. Temporarily shows it here. But if I click it, now it shows it permanently on top of the other file. And you can as before, you can minimize files by clicking in their upper uh, right corners on that uh, underscore symbol. If you want to close a file, a quick way to do it is on this display, hover over the thumbnail and click the X that appears when you hover over that file. Now that file has been closed. Now hovering over the symbol will only show the ones that is still open. Now one other thing the middle area of the taskbar begins to the right of the last pinned icon on the quick launch toolbar. That's the Firefox shortcut here. Program icons appear in this area for programs that are not pinned but are running. Also, if you open one or more folders, a special icon appears that will collect all the open folders. Same rules as for the icons uh, in the Quick Launch Toolbar. Closing the last open folder causes that special icon to disappear. Closing the last open file for a program that is not pinned will cause that program icon to disappear from that part of the Quick Launch Toolbar. I am using this program and I am reading the script from this program so I can't close those to demonstrate that.
I'll open another program from the Start menu that I don't have pinned on the taskbar. Let's pick the Snipping tool. So now this program icon is for the Snipping tool. It appears here in this part of the taskbar because it's not pinned. And if I close the program, that icon will now disappear. Right-clicking a taskbar icon displays many choices. You can click a file that's open in that program but currently minimized on this list to restore it. You can open any file that has been recently opened with this program. You can open the program to create a new file or this particular one is not pinned. It's here because there's a file open. Since it isn't pinned, you have the option to pin it to the taskbar. If that were uh, the icon of a program that was pinned, this option would say unpin from taskbar. For instance, here, if I right click Edge, unpin from taskbar. Again, this one's not pinned. It's only here because it's got a file open. And the option then is you can pin it, so then it'll stay there. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.